On today's WordPress Wednesday, I'm gonna be showing you how to make zoom effects like this on your Divi images. You can also have uh, a zoom like this where it doesn't spill out. See how it's kind of contained in that column? These zoom out and kind of spill over. This one just keeps that image and has a really nice slight zoom in effect. I'm gonna show you how to do both of those right now. Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and you have found a YouTube channel dedicated to all things WordPress. Hey, take a minute, click like and subscribe so that you get notifications every time I've got a new video. And a lot of times it's on this Divi theme. That's what we're talking about right now. Hey y'all, last week I showed you how to do animations and scroll effects on images, which is really fun. But today we're gonna be looking at how to make these really nice, simple, zoom effects and i find them to be really fun for exciting adventure good energy high energy sites where you just want a little bit of a wow factor remember that hover effects cannot be seen on a mobile device so if the majority of your traffic is coming in on mobile you probably don't need to worry about this that much but on a desktop view sure is really nice so let me show you first of all how to make this spillover effect on the zoom and then I'll show you one further little step that you have to do in order to contain it. Again, we're running on Divi for this. If you are running on a different theme, uh, you might not have these exact same settings, but if you're using something like Elementor, you might have something comparable to this. To show you how I built these three, I'm just gonna go ahead and start a new row down here. I'm gonna go ahead and do our three columns. And I'm gonna look for the image module. And we can go ahead and put in our great images here. I've gone ahead and sized these to be the exact size that I want so that they're uniform down the page. So I would recommend you doing that as well, just so that you have kind of this starting point of uniformity for your images. Just drop that in there just like that. And that starts our row. Let's go into the gear icon. And the first thing is we're going to go into the design tab. Scrolling down, we're going to go into transform. Let me move a little bit closer so you can watch this. If you hover over the title of transform, you see these other menu options that appear. We're going to click on the little one that looks like a mouse, and that means hover state. So be certain that that one's selected over here on this right side, the hover state. Um, this is what it looks like if you're not hovered over it on a desktop this is what the image will look like when you hover over it. So this is where we just want to do a, a scale or a zoom, right? So for me, I'm just going to do like something slight, like 110%, you know, something that just kind of feels like a small little zoom. You can go as big as you want. You can do 200%, whatever type of zoom you would like. You just want to be certain that when it zooms in, it doesn't pixelate, right? So you want to start with a large enough image. So there's my 110%. If you go ahead and click the check mark for save, you now have a nice little, I'm gonna go ahead and click save out of this. Um, let's exit the page just so you can see exactly what it looks like. You now have a nice little zoom effect happening. See, just like that, that easy. So that gives us this effect here, right? All I've done extra on these pictures up here is added in that image border to kind of round the edges. So we'll go in and do that. If we wanted to have it in a contained zoom like this, there's one extra step that you need to take. And let me show you what that is. Let's go back, enable the builder. First things first, let's add in those borders on here, right? Let's go back into the image, go into design and go into border. And we're just gonna drop in about a 30 pixel border width around this. You might wanna play around with what that feels like for you. You could maybe do 20 and just soften those edges, but that gives you that nice little rounded corner. I'm gonna duplicate this, bring it over here to my center image. I'll change out my image or the one I actually want to be there. The size that I'm using for these images is 600 wide by 800 tall, just so y'all have a reference point there. But now that I've done it this way where I've duplicated this first one, this image has all the same effects still, right? I don't have to go back into the design and go back into transform. It's all living here for this particular image. But what I wanted to do is 
on this one, I want it to contain, right? This is what I want to show you is how to contain it. So let's go into the module settings. Let's go into design and let's go to sizing. Here we want to just uh, set a height for the image. If you know the height of 600, you can do that. You can also play around with the height here and kind of drag this around to see exactly how tall you want that image uh, to remain. So, you know, I'd probably even drop it down a little bit lower to have it come into play with that. I would say about 430 is where this image is going to sit for me here on this row. So now that I have that height set, I can actually go into the row and the column. So you want this image to zoom, but not spill out of its column. So we need to go up to the row settings, go into the gear and go into the first column, right? Because that's the image we're trying to contain. We're go going to go into the advanced tab here and go into custom CSS. And on the main element, you're going to write max height 430 or whatever number that was, right? That's it. And scrolling down, we're going to go into visibility. And this is the magic sauce right here on the overflow, which means anything that might overflow on this container, if you say default, you're still going to see it. You need to change this to hidden on both of these, on the vertical and horizontal, change it to hidden and go ahead and click check and check. And we're going to save all of our work here, right? We're going to open up that three dot menu, click save, exit the visual builder, and let's test our zoom effect here. Nice, it stays contained, and this one spills out. So you can have either one of these effects on your Divi WordPress website. Of course, if you just wanted to replicate this, you don't have to do those settings again, just duplicate that image by clicking on that little duplicate button, drag it over right there in your third column, change the image out to whatever you want it to be, And now that image has that same really cool zoom effect spill over. Um, yeah, I hope this has been fun. There you go. Y'all, I know that was a short tutorial, but I hope it was really helpful for you. Remember, this is still July, so you have a chance to win these free JBL wireless headphones. I'll put the link in the description box below. If this is past July 2022 that you're watching this, please check out that link anyway. I might be running another really cool giveaway. Again, click like and subscribe. Hang out here with me every single Wednesday. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, everyone.